What's up, what's up, everybody? We are officially back. And again, listen, I took a little hiatus is the word they say over here. So I had to come back. Like I've been saying it, I hit it hard the last couple of days. So I couldn't stop the momentum. I had to keep it hard. I had to keep it flavor. I had to keep it rocking. Listen, I'm first of all, I'm glad to get you guys on because we've been talking about this. And I want to say shout out to you guys, both of you, for keeping in touch saying you're going to do it and keeping in touch because a lot of people awesome. talk yeah. that shit and don't so like, but if you're, if you're listen, listen, listen shout out shout out everybody welcome Cal and chubby from the chisel today is about i know chubby got chubby in the game but today's that chisel shit we're going to talk about all right well, we talk about chubby as well you know of course we're going to talk about chubby because chubby ain't that chubby so we're going to start with that <laughs> you know but um uh, no what's up fellas again i'm glad to get you on um I hooked up with these guys. We hooked up at Punk Rock Bowling, and um, they killed it. I was I was glad I was able to see you guys and able to tell you guys, you know, finally in person to be like, hey, let's do this shit. And, and you guys been grinding. So yeah, awesome. where you guys, I'll start with you, Cal. So what's up? Like where you guys just got back from? We just did, uh, after Punk Rock Bowling, we did two weeks with GBH. So we went from uh, Las, Las Vegas to L.A., down to Phoenix, Arizona, Texas, went through Alabama and all that to Atlanta. It's like the deep south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's a, a barbecue. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, um, uh, that's you know, for Americans, that's America. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, like, exactly. you know what I mean? Like, very American. Exactly. Oh, it was very American. You guys seen like cowboy America, and um, <laughs> yeah, um Chubby, this is uh. Both your guys are first time in the States or you've been hitting you guys. I know you've been touring for a minute, but I wasn't sure how many times in the States already. Both you guys. We, we did. We did a tour May last year, which was our own headline tour. That's and this, was, this was just off the back of the first LP. But then January just gone. We played FYA Fest in Florida. That's and then what we did a week and a half with End It coming mm. up into New York afterwards. So Chisel and End It did all the dates up there. So yeah, the, it's it's the third time we've been over, and we've only been playing shows for about two years now. Yeah, we're yeah. quite lucky about that, that we've just been able to like come over. We, we're still like a relatively new band, I think. You know what I mean? Like we've only been doing stuff since, like must be like during COVID we started. Yeah, yeah. So like, we, I feel very like privileged to be able to just come over to America like that quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely the um um the COVID thing ignited. You know, you know, obviously a lot of things change. We all know, blah blah blah, all that bullshit. But on the plus was anybody putting out new music, I think yeah. it was the perfect uh, uh, um, springboard because it was, a, you know, everybody was hungry for music because yeah. we all see it with the Drains, the Scows. They're all great bands. I love them, and yeah. they're popping. But it goes to show, same things how I saw with Chubby and with you guys. Yeah. Um, and it's good that it ain't just like, let's say, the, the swag hardcore or the metalcore stuff. It's like... Music in general seems to be like people are hungry for it because yeah, 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 no, you guys are on your own lane right now in a way. I feel like with the I feel like the lockdown thing it like opened up a lot of free time for a lot of people. Like if you if you got put on like furlough or you had to stay at home or whatever, it's like all of a sudden instead of your free time in that day being like two hours at the end of it, you're tired, you come back from work, just want to fucking go to the pub or whatever. And now now you've got now you wake up and you're like, well, what the fuck am I gonna do today? And if you spent your whole life in hardcore and punk or whatever, then it's like, well, I'll just make some punk music, some hardcore yeah. music, some whatever it is you're doing. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we did, we did, we did three, three EPs and an LP in a year and a half. <sighs> that's yeah, great. Yeah, but that's we, how we, it should be. We had fuck all else to do. So <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like, it's not like, oh, let's see how much music we can put out. You're like, no, we have a lot of music. Let's put it out. You know, yeah, we, were, we, were, like, we weren't rushing to put stuff out either. We were just being like, all oh, right, well, we've done that. What should we do now? Oh, should we do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Then we just do yeah. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, we want to put out loads of music. We were just like, oh, yeah. I guess we'll put out some more now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's like, which one do tonight? Let's right. do another LP. I guess we'll do an LP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but that's how, and again, when things are too thought out, 
you know, you could kind of sometimes, sometimes it works, but this is meathead music. We are gorillas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too much thinking hurts us. We go on emotion. That's why it's the music, it means so much. Well, sometimes we think too late, but this music, we think with our hearts first, which ain't always the right thing, but yeah. it's a real thing. You know what it's I mean? It's like primal. It's like primal. You know what I mean? It taps into like a little part of, the, of your brain that's like, that just is like the, the, like, you just want to react. You just hear the music. You just want to fucking, like, people jumping off the stage and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. taps into some sort of like ancestral part of your brain that just makes you want to go nuts. Do you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. I tell people all the time when they're like, oh, you play crazy music. I go, yeah, I go, um, do you get angry? And they go, of course. I go, well, if you, then there's a place for this. Oh, you know, man. you know, music is emotion and, and sound. You know what I mean? When you're yeah. happy, you're going to listen to some happy stuff. When you're angry, put some, you know, you don't got to like it, but it may seem the for the yeah, right yeah, soundtrack yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you guys this. How you guys hooked up? How long you guys know each other? <laughs> uh, uh, so, so the, the conversation with me and Charlie is uh, basically uh, we we share an ex girlfriend. Uh, uh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Is she? Nah, I'm joking. I was gonna say yeah, we might yeah, have a yeah, trifecta. Yeah, yeah. Nah. That's, that's, she, that's, no, no, that's another story for another uh, time. Okay, but, got you. Um, no, basically, um, he hated me for a long time. <laughs> And then when and then when they split up, we kind of bonded. And, then, <laughs> and, that, and that's how the fucking band started. Yeah, that's how the band started. It's we like, know we've both we've known Nick for like a long time, so we yeah, yeah. we got we got Nick in on drums, and then it just sort of took off from there, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that that's pretty fun. And how long ago was that about? Well, I mean, we we started becoming friends about 2018 or something. So then we started the band end of 2019. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you, yeah. so you hooked up, and what you were you, you basically, but uh, how uh, do you live in the same city as each yeah, other? Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm from I'm from Blackpool, so I'm from the north of England. Yeah, so I've, we, I've lived in London for about 12 years now. Gotcha. So, it's, uh, so I mean, London hardcore and stuff. I used to come down for shows and of stuff course. like that, but um. It wasn't until I moved down here that I really got to know people. Yeah, here. Blackpool back in the day, we played a couple shows here and there. They would have, we would be able to make it there like early yeah, days. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and Chubby, where you're from? London? I'm from, I'm from London, yeah. Born, yeah. born and raised, but um, I've never, I've never left really. Yeah. So I just sort of stayed here. You, you, you can't leave. That's nah, usually what happens. Leave. You're stuck I'll there. I'm sort of breaking out in hives and shit, man. So. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, let me ask you this. So, so I'm assuming, obviously. Well, Chubby was out how long? Chubby was out before the chisel, then you know, not uh, that much longer, though. I'd say, nah, like, you, you had the, I mean, you had the album out, the when, album when we were finishing. You, the, your album came out when we finished recording in the first. Oh, yeah, shit, that's damn. Right. Dude, the album, the album got re released at the fucking the week that COVID happened, didn't yeah. It? yeah so, and then the fucking chisel one dropped just after that, yeah. Just let chisel EP you off. Fucking hell, it feels like a lifetime ago, yeah, but it really, but really, it's only like two years or three years ago, so, wasn't it? Yeah, because you know why it felt like longer? I mean, obviously, we had three years or whatever, but I, f I heard the chisel. I mean, I heard about Chubby first because of Paul Bearer, I told you. Yeah. Paul hates everything, right? Yeah. But I <laughs> seen right. Paul, he's like, yo, I don't know who they, I forgot what he wrote, but I remember it, it got me enough to be like, yo, I'm going to check him out. And yeah. I love the name. I was like, Chubby Nickel, that sounds like, you know, it sounds like what it should be. Like, I haven't heard a name like that also in a minute. And then I was, Paul was like, yo, these guys are great. I checked out the band and I was like, yo, it's a dope band. It's good to see, you know, I'm an oi guy. You know what no, I mean? A lot of people, it. a lot of people mistaken my hat because I wear my hat a little to the side sometimes. <laughs> they, forget they, they don't know my DNA. Well, my hey, DNA, here, mate. Uh, exactly. Here, my here, DNA bro. was New York hardcore and oi. You know, yeah, even yeah, more, yeah. even more than well, punk. Yeah. I, I don't really have a punk bone in me. You know, we were hardcore skins. You know, well, New York hardcore always had that like it, New York hardcore always had that crossover with like skinhead and. And yes. hardcore stuff, you know, like we know, like yeah. obviously like war zone and stuff, right? Yes. You know I mean? like and you know, massive, and, massive crossover thing. Yeah, and and then and it was again, you had the punk rock side of it, there was always that. Then you had the crossover side, and then you always had the oi guys. Yeah, we were we were we were all hardcore skins, so it was hardcore and that skin shit. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and we right the background music was always, you know, the business, the last resort, you know what I mean? The four skins. Yeah. That was like 101, you had to. Like, you ain't shaving your head and wearing boots in New York if you ain't rocking some of that. No, no, of course, yeah, it yeah. just was not happening. And 
what we were glad is New York and England, they're, they, you know, we mirror the UK in a lot of stuff and vice yeah, versa. Yeah, you know, so from the punk rock coming from this way, going there, and then we liked the version you guys did, and then we took some of that, you know what I mean? It was Yeah, open. yeah. Well, I think that's been going on with, like, with, like, with America and, like, and England, like, the back and forth between, like, musical styles, like, even with shit like the fucking Stones and that, we're taking, like, all American blues shit and then coming back with, like, some sort of, like, so, yeah. fuck noise, you know what I mean? Just, like, I feel like that's, like, a connection between, like, America and England that's been going on for fucking... A long time like bouncing off each other absolutely you know what else like the soul singers there's some yeah. english soul singers that i was like i look at the picture i go wait a minute he should be on a t ad he should have been you know i thought it was a black dude and it'd be like some og english <laughs> yeah, yeah. Song, you know but killing it again something with the uk also i noticed this from obviously you know we're in bands a lot of the equipment the technical stuff came out of the uk you know that has to do with rock and roll, you know, from yeah. amplifications and stuff like that. You know, people forget that has to do with our music, you know, the, yeah. that, how loud we were, the noises that were coming out of these boxes. And the UK has a lot to do with that, people. Forget about that shit. Speaking of Paul Bearer, we're seeing him later. Shit, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Like you, you, yeah. You got to oh, tell him what's up for sure and all oh, that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Give, him, give, him a, give him a big hug. Oh yeah, they definitely squeeze. Him. That never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see him. He's like a he's like a chubby cheetah right now with his spots yeah, on his head, right? Cool. You know, cool. And and let me ask you this. All right, so Cal, you coming up? You're in, you you. All right, so you now you live in London, but you were born in Blackpool. Born in Blackpool, yeah. All no, right, no, sorry, born in Carlisle. All right, Carlisle, and you grew up in Blackpool. Yeah, all right, you growing up, you're a young guy. How this crazy shit reaches you know your doorstep. Oh, my dad was a skinhead, so I got, I got, oh. brought, up. So I got brought up in the punk and oil. Like, it's in the bloodline. That's it, yeah. Man. Good blood. man, good I, man. I had no choice. You was, had no choice. But it was old. But it, it threw through the... Because I'm 37, you know, so, like, throughout the mid-90s, when I was, like, like, about 10 years old, it was only punk and oil. Gotcha. But around two, early 2000s is when I got into, like, agnostic front and hardcore stuff. Then gotcha. I got into the UK scene and become a part of that. So, like, yeah. it was all punk and oil, and then I really got into hardcore in the early 2000s. And that's uh, it's, it's, it's just been like that ever since. Yeah, that's cool for your pops and chubby. What's up with you? Because I know, um, first of all, with you, Chubb, because I know you have a lot to do with writing, right? Because yeah. I'm a writer, too. Yeah. So Chubby came not too long before the chisel, right? Yeah. Maybe a year yeah. before. What you were doing before that, did you have, besides, I'm not saying like little put together, did you have a serious band before that? Uh, I had a few, like uh, Arms Race, Crown Court, uh, Violet okay. Jackson, a bunch of stuff like that, that just... Uh, so sort of just fizzled out and like to me like my go-to when writing music is like oi because that's that's what i really connected with when i was like growing up and shit so i was like man i need to write some oi stuff and then like when me and cal like first started kicking it properly we was just like this is sort of the natural thing we went to like what should we do let's do an oi band yeah you know I mean? yeah 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 for sure and you know what's great about the what, what's perfect time there there's that was the, it's the perfect time for it because oi it was always a part of the dna look at in new york this was a very common bill it would be you know a straight edge band or oi band you know uh whatever band or whatever every yeah. hardcore band had yo this is our oi song what, yeah, that's yeah. what pride was for us yeah, pride yeah, was, yeah, yeah. when we wrote pride we like yo that's our oi song because yeah, everybody yeah. had you know, your sing along was an oi song. You know what yeah. I mean? It had to be. I mean, New, New, New York's always been really good to us and that. And in terms of like, especially America and that, as soon as we did the first EP, it was like America's people in New York were picking up on it straight away. Our yeah. first ever Amer America show was um, at the uh, Brooklyn Monarch, you yeah. know, and, and it was fucking packed out and people were going fucking crazy, you yeah. know. And it, no, was, I, it was just great. So New York's always shown us love. It's been great. Yeah, I remember a lot of my boys loved the band. That's why I was like, also it came up, and he also like shout out to Rob from Born for Pain. He loves you guys. You know, he was yeah, also yeah, early, he was early on. Rob was like, yo, the chisel. I was like, oh, I already know, and we would talk about yeah. it and, and, <laughs> and all that stuff. And then um, now um, your pops. What did he? So when you coming, what, what did he think of the band? I loves it, yeah. But yeah. Like, there's a, there's a, we've got a very conflicted relationship. So there's a few tunes about him that I don't want him to hear. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's pretty funny, but no, but that's cool because I was, you know, 
sometimes the old timers can, you know, you know, be automatically hate a little bit too much, but I might yeah, even yeah, think yeah. it's cool when it's, yeah, it's yeah. whatever. No, no, he likes it. He does like it. He's very proud of me. Good. That's good. And, and let me ask: Were you in a band before the Chisel? Uh, not really, to be honest. I do, I do like this electronic project on the side, but other than that, I, I just never really bothered. I was working full time, so it's just kind of like, I, I, it's kind of silly because I wish I had a fucking done it. Because I started this when I was thirty four, and I, I wish it's I had done it. That, but but that's you know? the right time. That's the whole. Man, shit. Lenny, Lenny was like thirty two when, he, like thirty one when he started Motorhead. I found that out the other day. It's yeah. like. You know, you're never too old. You know what it is. You know what's what's weak if you if you get into it because it, you you ain't into the music, but you you start a band. That's what's bullshit. You know what I mean? Like any age is any age. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. you know that I always said that. Like for me, it was never the age shit. To me, it's like, and it's okay to do like a, you know a different style project if that's what you liked. You know what I mean? I I don't like when people. Form a project like oh hip hop is ba- is big now so okay I'm gonna do a hip hop project um yeah, next yeah, week yeah, I'm yeah. alternative oh, I'm gonna do an alternative it's like nah that's that's chasing it too much you know what I mean yeah, you, yeah. Know? you just gotta do you just gotta do what you feel like doing yeah you know that, I mean? yeah definitely and, and let me ask you about the United States both of you guys so you toured properly Europe I assume you know yeah, Germany yeah. I, I mean I mean I'm, not not really I mean we've, we've done shows here and there but we haven't we haven't done a run of dates in Europe yet. So which America, we, which, America, which is going up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got some stuff. Yeah, the cats <laughs> outside, boys. You got yeah, let them know. Exactly. Hint, hint, hint. But um, oh, so you basically just did some spot shirt. Now let me uh, let me ask you both, you guys, this. So you've been in America a couple of times. Um, what do you think is um, that? What's a co- what's something cool? That all right. So it's something that's different from let's say touring in Europe, and uh, in the good and in the bad. Put it compared like that. to compared to US, yeah, yeah, the US. Like, what's something cool that you notice, and then something that you find weird? Because you know, Americans always say something weird about the European. You know, if it's like the water or you know some stupid shit. Like, oh, but I mean, the most obvious one is like the drives, it, it, the drives in America, horrible. You, but man, yeah. some of them are like yeah. fuck. You, some of them are like you can drive from like Texas to a different state, and it's like you could. The time that you did this drive, you could do the entire length of Europe. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what I mean? It's I like the good, the good thing about Europe is like from London to Paris is like two, three hours on a train. Exactly. You know, I'm getting that. So it's like, well, and then from there to, to Belgium is another two or three hours. So I feel like that's the obvious one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, with the with put it for example for, with the GBH tour, we had two days off to get from Texas <laughs> to fucking Atlanta. And Jesus Christ, those fucking drives, man. And that heat as well, man. Yeah. Look, at, look at my complexion. I am not made for that heat. I know, I know. You guys, you feeling it a little bit, definitely. <laughs> the, the lobster was heavy. Oh, Yo, shout, shout out to my boys from Bitter End. There's a couple of red guys there. They're from Texas. I don't know how he lasted so long. Man, punk rock bowling, when we were standing in the car park and it was like fucking... Oh, my degrees. God. We don't like, say Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Sorry, my people not come from the... Too. My people come from there and it was too much oh, for me. I was like, I want air conditioning. Like, you know, the heat coming off it, yeah. Yeah, and, up, and did you guys do um punk rock bowling before? Nah, never. We do, it, was, it was on the cards the year before, but it didn't really come to fruition. But I'd love to fucking go back, man. Mm. It's such a good time, man. Vegas, I mean, I Vegas did bowl. Is crazy. I didn't do any bowling, but you know, maybe next yeah, time. yeah, that bowling. I'm like, does anybody even bowl in that thing? I didn't <laughs> yeah. see one ball. <laughs> hey, I saw a couple of people that resembled balls, but I didn't <laughs> see no balls. <laughs> now, and, and let me ask you, um, um. I got to see you guys. You got to play a, a after party and the main thing. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Again, a lot of people don't get to do that. So that's yeah, cool. two two in one, two in one day, man. It was it was it was a lot of fun. It was very taxing oh, uh, physically, but because uh, we just came off the back of a tour with the chats in the UK as well, so to go go in and just go bam bam yeah, after yeah. the heat that was going on in Vegas. And it's like it's like playing playing at like I can't remember what time we played like. Or five, something like that. Was it? It's five p.m. and then like one a.m. So it's like we're we're a little drunk at five p.m. and we're trying to not be too drunk at by two a.m. So oh, I know. I saw like... you guys. I missed you guys at the after party. I came late, but I caught you guys in the parking lot. I said, "Oh, they're getting it in." Oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so right now. Good. Right now, he said that when you were like, yo, we're having um, difficulties, we were like, oh, they spilled the beer on the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, dry up that beer, get it, get it done. <laughs> and and, and how, so let me ask you, this is for both of you guys, because for me, it was amazing, GBH, to be yeah. able to play with GBH every night. Unbelievable. Yeah. Genuinely unbelievable. Like, you know, like, like, 
the fucking like the privilege it is to be able to play with a band like that every night and as, as well like separate to the music amazing people man yeah, yeah. Like, really really sound proper geezers like drink, drink more than we do yeah, yeah they're sick up. colin great dude og yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know i got to uh we got to play man i again you know my 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 oh, i got to earn a couple of my stripes back in the day we got to play fuck reading brixton academy yeah. gbh peter the test two babies the weirdos Fuck anti nowhere league, fucking! I'm like enough said. You know, I saw. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I rolled up. There was a bunch of dirty punk rockers passed out. I go, oh, I made it. I'm fucking in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it don't get no better than that. You know, I was yeah, like, yeah, yo, and, and chilling in a room, a small, you know, the little room, and Colin smoking, and an animal walking by from a, you know, a, a, my brother, rest in peace, my brother. That was I learned that from my brother. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and now I'm in the backstage, and all these guys are just walking by. It's like, oh. like oh. yeah, man, you see the pictures of them back in the '80s, and they've all got their fucking hair charged out like this, and yeah. then you see them walk past, and you're like, oh, I, I was like that right know? now when I saw them. Well, that was in the '90s, but I was like, holy shit! And then you know, obviously the business, like you know, those that's family for us. Yeah, and for, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Wells a great guy, and that alone for us, for, again for me, we were skinned. That that's a, yeah. and then one one of my. Not one of probably the greatest gift I ever got from anybody was rest in peace, Mickey Fritz. The second yeah, time we show up to awesome, London, yeah. he goes, I got something for you. And he goes, His Saint the flag of St. George. I said, oh, that's sick. I said, Listen, listen, I don't give a fuck what skinhead book any of you motherfuckers are in. <laughs> I don't care how stay pressed you stay pressed are. I got what I needed out of this shit. It was great. Shout out to them and whatever. And all right, let me ask you both this. So um, uh, what do you guys think of, you know, and, and, and I'm not saying this to, to get people to talk shit, but what do you think of the metallic side of this hardcore stuff? Because you guys are, you know, uh, oi stuff, but you're connected to the hardcore from that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like it, man. Like to, it. To, to me, man, like when it comes to, like, like what we were talking about earlier about being writers and stuff, the wider the net, the bigger the catch. So like yeah. the more influence you can have from stuff, the more is shit you can listen to, the more open-minded you are about music, especially like within subculture, the better the, the shit that you're going to come out with is. Like, like fucking, like prime examples, like someone like Chromax who took like a metallic sound, they applied it to the fucking punkier sound. Yeah. And they created this fucking beast or something. You know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. like, and that's that's how that shit comes about is because people just, like I said, wider the net, man, bigger the catch. You just fucking like, you just listen to everything and then you go, yeah. what if I put this in a hardcore song? Or like, what if I put this yeah. in a punk song or whatever? And then all of a sudden you've got some fucking crazy. Yeah. No, I'm getting that. I think, absolutely. I think, I, think, I think people who try and gatekeep certain types of hardcore sound and say, oh, it's supposed to be like this or this and this. Obviously, doesn't know the history of the fucking scene and what it's been like yeah. since day one up yeah. until now. Yeah. You know, because because those, hard, those hardcore bands, even Descendants were a fucking hardcore band. You yeah, know, like, isn't it? and it's always just been so the, it's widespread, like yes. different genres mixed into it, and it doesn't really have a defined fucking sound. No, you know? absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like Sacrilege or something. Sacrilege is like basically a metal band in the punk scene. Yeah. Hey, you know, cause for alarm. <clears throat> you know, when that record came out, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, that was That's a thrash a crossover, but yeah, but we needed that, you know. You know, if it wasn't for the metal guys and bringing in the metal, you know what, what they brought besides playing technical was better equipment. Yeah, With yeah, better yeah, equipment, yeah, yeah. now the oi sounds better. Now the punk yeah. sounds better. Now when yeah. you hear sonically live, you see Metallica, but then you see, oh, the chisel play up next. Oh, wow, sonically, they're still big, yeah. you know, because the equipment's better, performance is better. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, nah, nah, maybe, nah. We, maybe we should do a metal record. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> Yo, that, that's something we'll talk afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really fuck some shit up. And, um, no, but I, I like that, too, and I like that... Um. It's how it should be, you know. It's part of the DNA. I don't know why anybody, you know, I, it always makes like again the business when we did those tours. The business was kind of like where you guys are at now. Like there wasn't a lot of bands, oi bands coming and touring like that. The yeah, business yeah. was here fucking every month, you know, and they yeah. killed it. And same thing, kind of how you do. They'll jump on with the Mad Balls, the Murphy's Laws, the AF, the Sick of It Alls. And that's how it should be. But that's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like that's the thing, though. Why not? Like, why can't bands who are like don't sound alike play together? Yeah. Like, why not? Because that's what like 
like hardcore man like the spectrum within hardcore like something that's like discharged to earth crisis or something imagine the fucking difference between that sonically but like yeah. at the end of the day man it's all just part of the same subculture yeah. so fuck it do you know what i mean play together do your thing you know yeah. what i mean yeah for sure now Why let not? me let me ask you both you guys this and again not to talk shit on people but do you feel because i say it to the newer bands because um this whole COVID shit sprang, gave everybody kind of a head start. Not a head start, but, you know, a big springboard for their yeah, new yeah. bands. Yeah. Have you guys gotten any hate from old bands because of the success you guys getting? No, yeah. no, no, not really. we're, we're not, Without naming we're people, because I'm not trying to tap into that. No, 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 no. But, but, one, one thing that we do get is some of the older heads generally talking shit. So it's not necessarily the bands. The bands have always been quite supportive. But some of the people who are from that scene are a little bit older. Gotcha. Like, Oh, it's not. They're not playing it. How we? You should be played. You know. I say, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I, I get a little. I get a little bit of shit for having long hair and a big mustache. So yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. To, because... be honest with you, to be honest with you, I sort of do this on purpose so that people do bite a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man, I'm, same. I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm doing. I'm you know why like... I love it? Because one, now there's motherfuckers that look like you. That you know <laughs> yeah, where they yeah. got. You know what they're listening to. One. Yeah. Number two. Listen again. You can't school me on this shit. Every, all the ex skins, if they're not all, half of them became bikers and yeah, got, yeah, grew yeah, their yeah, hair yeah. out. He, because when everybody else was shaving their head, they go, okay, we're going to do the opposite. I know yeah, how yeah. it goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was, yeah. you know, like people forget that. Like, you know, no, again, no, that yeah. shit is more than just the head. You know, that, I think that's like, I think like, you know, if there was one criticism I had of oil music, it was like, it would be that like, it, it doesn't evolve. It doesn't evolve like it should do sometimes. Sometimes people get a little bit too like, stuck in their ways a little bit and it's like to me like the important thing is like the music and like how you deliver it and like you know all that shit rather than like necessarily like because if you look at all the classic classic oi bands blitz fucking all these bands whatever there's always a couple of them that weren't skinheads and they were always looking kind of crazy looking do you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like some guys like nephew or something that they got to join the band yeah. or something that like long hair or something was going on do you know what i mean like absolutely like, you know it's, it's like everyone looks a little bit different and it's like i can't i can't love that you know what i mean yeah definitely everybody was figuring it out you know yeah. it was still like there was no handbook on it you yeah, know exactly. what I mean? like, people... by, like chapter two dress code. Let me see what I've got. Exactly. Away. No, and, uh, and another, and another thing, like with hardcore, it's like especially with oil music. The foreskin sound nothing like infrared. Infrared sound nothing like Sham sixty nine. Sham sixty nine sound nothing like Cocky Rejects. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. that. It like just like hardcore. It all sounded fucking different. You know, yeah. and, and, and to the better, to the to the better of it. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That was like the better thing, like because that made it interesting and made it like. Do you know what I mean? It was outlaw music. And, I, you know, yeah. outlaws came in different shapes. That's why they forgot. The guys with the long hair were usually the better players. Let's get them in the fucking band. He's a piece yeah, of yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. us. We're going to dress you. You can, you already hang with us. You know, that's how it is. Every, this is what I hate, and it happened in New York back in the day when the big New York hardcore thing was every. You know, everybody felt like, oh, you had to be from the Lower East Side, from a squad, from the... Yeah, well, that's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. Because half the people that were in those squads came from money. They chose to be there. There's nothing yeah. wrong with coming from money either. But I'm just saying, all that shit is bullshit. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, do you have a degenerate? When I say degenerate, like a not normal, you know, you don't you're, you don't fit in, in the normal, then this is where you belong. This yeah, is where yeah, those people... I, I really feel like with hardcore and that shit, like, I, I really feel it's like you... You don't find it, it finds you. I really yeah. believe that, like, you know, there's people in this world. Like, can you look around at your mates and you think, how many of these people could be an accountant? You look exactly. around, you're like, none of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, no, for sure. Especially, you know, in our world, there's all gorillas. We don't, I don't want my paperwork <laughs> done by any of the, my friends. For yeah, sure, yeah, stay yeah, away from know. all my taxes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff. But, but no, it's great. Um, But no, it, it's good. And it's, um, you know what it is? Um, I said this uh, recently. I've been talking to a lot of the newer bands, the more like the hardcore, like the punk style newer bands. And a lot of them seem to have that the right mentality. See, it's different with you guys because you guys are kind of in a newer wave, but I don't consider you guys in a new wave. Since you come from this, I automatically give you points on history. For, oh, without oh, knowing, yeah. but automatically, when you tap into the oil world, you better come right or else it's going to get exposed or you're going to yeah, right yeah. away. You ain't just yeah. 
accepted. I know it's already a genre within a genre within a genre. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and I like yeah, it. I know what, what you know. Yeah, so, but it's good that you guys um, are, are like the right bands from the the guys in the front that are, are are carrying that mentality of, yeah, yeah, we're that oi shit. But yeah, yeah, we fuck with that. We think that's cool. And yeah, you yeah. guys do it with the shows you play, which I yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, no, also, yeah, yeah. That's important. That's what I mean. I just I, like for me, man. Like I sort of the older I get the more I just like, I like what I like. I want to see shit that I like. I like the people that I like and I want to hang out with them regardless of what the fuck they're into, what they sound like. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll fucking, I'll do it because it betters my life rather than fucking trying to st stick to some weird, like, unspoken code that we should only play with X, Y, Z. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, and But, you know, that cool. happens. You know, at one point early on, you know, that, Mabo always, always down to play with everybody. But, you know, we always waved the hardcore flag so people assumed, oh, they don't want to play with us. They won't play with a metal band. They won't play with... We're like, yeah, we'll play with anybody. We're yeah, just yeah, representing yeah. our little scene, you know, trying yeah, to yeah. put it on the map kind of shit. Yeah. Have you guys... You haven't made it to South America yet, huh? No, no, no yeah. Talks no. about it. Talk, talks. Yeah, I'm talking about it. We did, we did a split with an uh, uh, oi band called Mess from Mexico. Yeah, They're fucking great. If you haven't heard them, or if anyone's watching this, so haven't, haven't sounds heard. like blitz. The sound, it sound, I mean, sound, it does sound like blitz. They sound more British than we do. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah mate. But they, uh, they, they, we'd love to go down to maybe do a few shows in LA, then go into Mexico around there, and then do a few shows with Mess around there. It'd be fucking great. Yeah. yeah, no, they love that. You know, the whole yeah. oi skin movement, even in South America, it's all big. You know, yeah, and like Japan, forget it. I could imagine back in the day, there used to be a lot of that. You know, a lot. What I loved about Japan back then, it was still like in the states where it was a lot of old punk, and then the hard stuff. You know, the heavy stuff. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. just like yeah, from the metal side, and then you find the punk guys later on. It was still like punk, then the the, the crust metal, and then the thrash, and then the new stuff, the swaggy stuff, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that's cool. And um. Right now, any other, right now, who's some new bands in your world that any new bands coming out? Because again, you guys are in a, in a kind of a lane of your own right now. I'll, I'll say that like, um, to me, like in terms of Europe, there's a big, uh, uh there's a big and very good scene in Basque country, like Cuero. Of course, and, uh, Basque. Revert as well, Revert. Okay. Yeah. And they're like really, really good. And like a bunch of them have like sort of oil influence. Aresi, Aresi is like yeah, a really yeah, good yeah. band. They have, um, uh, and uh, Ogro is another one. So all the Basque bands are yeah. on another level. Those um, Basque are wild motherfuckers yeah, a, a, too, a, right? There's, oh, a, yeah. there's, a Cana <laughs> there's a Canadian uh, oi band called Better Name who have just released an EP. We're playing with them at Static Shock Festival next month. Yeah, you got to send me some of these names because I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely, oh, yeah. I, I like checking. Now, let me ask you with the songs. I was just checking out some videos and you got the, the video. Whoever's, the, you got, Different people doing the videos, or you stick nah, to at the moment. Now, nah, we had for the first video retaliation that was someone separate, but the last two was the same person. It's one of my friends from Blackpool. Yeah, they got a job. I was watching, and you got good looking videos, man. That's really? good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was good just watching, videos, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good looking blokes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's good. And now, now, okay, so the, the chisel, the chi right now, you're about to write some chisel songs. How, how does the process work for you guys? Ch do you come with a song, Chubby, or? So usually what will happen was like I'll have like a bunch of riffs that we we like ske like I'll skeleton out and I'll bring it to practice. We sort of do that. Cal will put his lyrics to it and then we'll go to the studio and add like the because we have quite a lot of leads on it. So like yeah. we have quite a few guitar tracks and we'll sit there and be like, what if we had a little line that goes do 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 yeah. whatever and we'll just fucking put that in and then be like ah that's not working. Let's try this way. Yeah. And then we sort of like so once the skeleton's there. We get into the studio, then we sort of like brainstorm like the little add-ons, like stuff that makes yeah. it interesting. Because you, yeah. you can always sort of like, to me, like the I think the healthy way of doing it is like throw everything in the kitchen sink at it, just put everything you can on it, and then be like, that ain't working, that ain't working, this ain't working, and put it back yeah. rather than like be scared to put stuff. Yeah, on. do Agreed. you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. No, that's true because that could be. Early on in songwriting, that could be a problem trying to do too much. So, yeah. like again, I use for an example, but I was able to do it when we wrote again my oi song, Doc Marlin's Stam, and we did. <clears throat> so we said, okay, on this record we're writing an oi song. So I said, 
Oh, I could throw all the bells and whistles in one yeah. song. You yeah, know, yeah, the yeah, solo, yeah. the chorus, the drum bass <laughs> part, the everything in one track. So like, so I, oh, I wondered, and I usually do that too. Like, uh, I was a, I wrote that in five minutes, not on some bragging shit on. I was like, oh, I no, got all. You, like, tapped into, you, you like, I think you tap with this, with the short, with the ones that cut done in five minutes, you tap into yes. something there, there's something there, you know what I mean? And, and I remember again, rest in peace to my brother, cause He's a, he was the big oi guy. So right away I write this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit sounds fucking. I, I I hear it. Like I automatically hear it. I go, yo, Dave, what does this sound like? He goes, that sounds like yo, you doing some oi shit now? I go, all right, enough said. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like he gave me the go ahead. And then when I brought it, you know, obviously, and then Freddie put it together. But I wrote it quick because since we don't get to do that all the time, oh, I had I had it in me. But it, so you write, I do the same thing. I kind of put a skeleton. And then I bring it to the band, and we would kind of chop Stop at everything it. On it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, um, let me ask you, Kyle. You you never sang in a band before. Now they put you in a fucking studio because yeah. I know it's weird to yeah, jump on this shit. That. How was that? Uh, because because with the first EP, we basically wrote the whole thing, the music anyway, two practices, and so we were just like, so we did the two practices, and we were like, fuck it, let's go in the studio. And they hadn't really heard me do anything. I I, I did I did some like croaks over a fucking microphone in the pra in the practice room but yeah. uh, but, it, but we, we came in and we did our first song which was billy aaron and i was just like should we just have a go and i just laid it down and then uh, the rest was history too we just like right that'll do yeah very nice because yeah. i'm like uh, because I, I don't know it's like i mean it was weird and it, is, it still is fucking weird now especially if you have a little bit of time in between yeah. you know, and stuff but but generally i'm just like fuck it let's go let's, let's go it. that's great because you know one Every front man to be a front man, you got to be. I already know you have mental problems because anybody who wants to be out there is mentally crazy. We we have problems, but we're smart enough to hide behind a guitar. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we're not yeah. that naked. We got something over our, our hammers. You know, we can still cover singers. You're bare out there. So I asked that because I also had done vocal stuff, and I know it's just weird. You know recording with headphones the first yeah. time like it literally took me five albums before i figured out what the hell i was doing you know <laughs> yeah. and you not being in a band jumping into this and yeah. obviously you know chubby already was working on stuff so you already maybe were more you were definitely more seasoned so i was just wondering how I mean, honest, man, I, like it, I, like it was pretty it kind of just felt it, like with chisel it fell together like really smoothly like you're just like right should we give it a go then he does his thing, and then we're like, "That's good, great." Should we do the next thing? Like, so yeah, it was yeah. like very like, like we when we when we did like when I did the vocals for the Chubby record because like the first LP I was like writing everything, demoing everything, and like doing everything, and then I was and then I, I wasn't a singer, so I got to to the bit where I was supposed to sing, and I was like, "Fuck, what do I do?" Remember the first day. Did the first line off was like, right, I'm not singing on this shit. I'm yeah. crap. I'm not doing this. <laughs> and then like Jonah Falco, who plays in that band, fucked up and a bunch of other bands. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 just try. And I was like, all right, all right, for you, I'll try. And then and like, then... Took a lot more, took, took a lot more like, you know, getting me out of my shell. But yeah. Carol was just like, fuck it, let are. me add it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, but that's kind of good because he came into it also, you know, we're, we're we, you know, sometimes we're involved in the music and we think too much. Sometimes yeah, yeah. we need exactly go into it with yeah, just the attitude. Thing, man. Yeah, the it's attitude. Going, going it's the be, primal thing. It's going to be fuck it. Just yeah. fuck yeah. it. If, if it's shit, it's shit. Yeah, and it's fucking true <laughs> because I'll look at some of the biggest artists and some of them track like this still. They need a mic in the hand and they yeah, want to, you know, yeah, even yeah. pop Nothing artists. Like, pop thing. Like, yeah. like, yeah. You know, and, and at the end of the day, the attitude, you got to get that attitude off. So that, that's good. But I was curious because... um. Singing in the studio is a hard thing, yeah. and especially for hardcore. I think like because hardcore, like it's so, it's so like based around like the live element of like the chaos, the fucking like you look at the fuck like bad brains at CBGBs. Yeah. How the fuck are you gonna put that on a record? Yeah, exactly. The chaos, you know what I mean? Fuck but it's like to get that and put it onto a fucking on a cut and just make it work is like I think that's more difficult than some yeah. sort of big studio record or whatever. Getting yeah. the fucking franticness and like the energy and shit like I yeah. mean, cool energy uh, yeah, yeah no it's in people have yeah. been trying to figure it out for years you know yeah, playing totally. live put a microphone in the air yeah, you know yeah. they do everything you know it seems, it seems go, with the vocals it seems to go a little bit better once i start to get stressed yes so at first i'll do a few takes which are fucking shit 
And then because the shit, I'll be like, fucking bastard. And then I'll yeah. get that'll get me worked up. I'm like, you're fucking yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, then you gotta go at it for sure. No, that's how it works. So when you were doing the chisel, you said, Okay, we're gonna make an oi band. Did you have any songs already or you wrote you started fresh? We started fresh. Two, two, two practices as a free piece, me, Charlie, and Nick on drums. And then we did two practices, thrashed out four songs, and then he recorded both guitar parts and bass and nicked the drums. And then it was my vocals. We, we did we did it the whole thing in two practices. God for the first two God damn you. You know, <laughs> look at you. And then now you've been to Vegas. You've been to this. <laughs> we, we were on tour. We were on tour sometimes. And I'll just be like to him, like, remember that fucking first practice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you were like, yeah, that shit just happened, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but it's a great thing. But you're also doing the right thing because, you know, uh, you got to feed a flame. You know what I mean? The yeah, flame, yeah, yeah, a yeah. flame. You know, you're putting out music and you're touring and you're doing the right thing. Tours, you know, getting fucking on the right stuff. Get an opportunity, you got to fucking grab it with both hands. You know what I mean? You can't be fucking. Like, yeah, for sure, it's, it's crazy. Cra and right like once in a lifetime for me. Anyway, you know what and, I mean? so, and, and, and right now too, like you know, again, you know, the world is open. You know, yeah. and and the world opened up. Um, some people may not like it, and other people's do, but I, it's definitely more acceptable of everything nowadays. Yeah. So, and some people have a problem with that, but in some ways, the good part is. Um, the our lanes got wider. Yeah, you know what I mean. I guess, like, yeah. like ten years ago, an oi band ain't gonna get on a a, no, a, a, a Ross Kilda. I could, if you said, "Oh, the Chisels getting on a Ross," I wouldn't be like surprised right now. Yeah, 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 it yeah, wouldn't yeah, be yeah, surprising. Yeah. It'd be like, "Oh shit, dope." Not surprised yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean you know, yeah. and that and 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 that's again some of the fucked up shit that came with this three year vacation. I don't even like saying the word, but the three year vacation you know, also opened up lanes for a lot of people. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like People are just excited to do shit now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. people, I mean, from speaking for myself, I'm I'm just excited to go and fucking do something because I sat in my room just fucking, you know, fuck all for like two now, years. Now, you know this is I mean? what I need to tell you, and I said this when I met you, chubby. You ain't chubby. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, <laughs> I know. You I'm, both I'm fucking girl, you, you two gorillas. I, I saw two English gorillas and I said, <laughs> Where's the chubby dudes? Well, I was pretty fat before. I mean, I'll, I'll send you I'll send you a photo. I need the fat, I need the fat I need the fat flicks. Cause I seen also some um earlier shows. If anything, you was thinner with yeah. the long hair. And I was like, I think I think he's trying to do You need to go earlier. You need to yeah. go earlier. Oh, earlier, earlier. <laughs> that, oh wow. Like there you go. Really chubby chubby, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Fucking so, I was I was a big boy for a little bit. Yeah, so and then and then so that was your nickname? Is that how yeah, it worked? Yeah. I think it's just because it, it's alliteration, chubby, Charles, chubby. Ch yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just funny. But you weren't, you weren't chubby. Yeah, I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if my name was Frank, I'd be called Fat Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And, and um, again, I'm still working on myself. How, how what did you do? Because, you know, like, people want to know. I must say you look great. I, I, did, like, I did a lot of Muay Thai. I did just fucking... Well, I got diabetes, so I was. They were like, "You need to lose some weight, man." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah. We talked about uh, the diabetes shit. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, so and, I was, they were like, "You need to drop some weight," and I was like, "All right, cool." So I and let me ask it. you about that, if you don't mind me asking, because I, I, yeah, cool. I was diabetic also, and I told you, I, you know, I beat it. I'm lucky. Yeah, you know, yeah. Thank so God. I, I got they. Um, I was I got diagnosed with type one, so like they think that I got it. Like they say that I might have got it through COVID. Like, oh. It's like a long COVID type thing. But um, now I'm like on insulin and shit. I've just got to like, I basically just got to fucking watch my diet a bit more. Yeah. But to be honest, now I'm on insulin. I can kind of do what I want, which is yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. Yeah. We want to just. Like, I, I did a lot of boxing and like being fat and boxing is crap. So I was just losing weight. Yeah. Good, yeah. No, but that's good. That's what you need for your, yeah. you know, the blood is trained, you know, that training, that uh, resistance training and all yeah, that shit. Yeah. And, and what about you? Can you do anything? Because, you, you know. I, I, I lift and I box as well. I was you know, going to say, yeah. yeah I, know, you, I know I'm a little bit more trim than that. Uh, no, no, you are, but you're in fighting shape. You ain't you, yeah, ain't, you ain't twerping. Yeah, yeah. You're not twerping. I see you guys. I was like, oh, they're definitely eating their protein. Ain't no vegans. I don't think they're vegans. It's all about <laughs> barbecue in America, mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh, how about that? But let me, how, how hard is it to, you know. Okay, let me ask you this. I can ask you both about it, but uh, especially you, Chubby, since you got to watch a little bit more. 
is it easier or harder or the same as Europe eating, trying to eat clean on the road, which is already impossible? Yeah. But you, uh, it's hard. But in, in, yeah, it's fucking, it's, it's it hard. is hard. But it's like, like in 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 Eng um, in America, um, there's not a language barrier. Like trying to explain to someone in like Poland about diabetes in English too. is but like, like, but like yeah. Yeah. the healthy food and that is more readily available in Europe than I anything. think so. Yeah, the yes. portion size in Europe is way smaller. Yeah, yeah. but better like, quality. Like, like, like in America, it seems like if you want to eat healthy. There's a fucking premium on that as well, you know. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Shit is so expensive, man. Yeah. yeah, it's horrible. Like, um, um, Europe always had the the health on. You know, they were already yeah. ahead with everybody as a kid. 20, 30 years ago was over. Like, you know, vegetables, this and that. In America, it wasn't like that. You know, kids, yeah. you hear, oh, vegetable. Oh. You know, of course, it ain't your favorite. But in Europe, it's part of. You know, you learn. Oh, it's health. Everybody does sports, even if you're chubby, you did something. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 in America, the early days, I'll show you some footage of high schools and in the 60s. Yo, they almost look like German camps, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, <laughs> straight up. Like, these motherfuckers are doing flips. They are bar you know, shit that, you know, um, it's like, uh, what do you call um, a CrossFit? Like, no joke. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're like, what is this, a Marine Corps? And it's like whatever high school, 1960 or whatever. Insane. And those days are way over. I'll tell you yeah. that over here. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I say, I say, like it's easier to eat healthy in Europe and that. And we still fucking don't. We're still, yeah, eating, yeah, we're still, eating, Bur we're still eating Burger King everywhere we fucking go. Like, I, 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 I do well when I'm back home. Yeah, I'm on the road and it's like. I could go over there and get that salad. Oh, I could go to fucking Burger King and get yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, bacon King. Bacon King. The yeah. Bacon King. The bacon. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, what's your favorite fast food on the road? What, Burger King? Uh, I mean, I mean, you're in Europe, it probably is, yeah, just because that's yeah. the most successful one. But yeah. I don't know. In America, it depends. I mean, I love on the West Coast, I love in and out Burger. And like in the, in the South, I love uh, Waffle House and Cookouts. Oh, well. yeah. I love that Cookout, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I love um, um, In and Out, all the burgers. Yeah, That's yeah, one yeah. thing America got hamburgers, like a bunch oh, yeah, of yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, I, and, but uh, hold on. I'll tell you something about the, the fucking English that I fuck with, and a lot of Americans don't. I fuck with that black pudding. Oh, oh yeah, man, of course, yeah, yeah, you know that's just not for the weak. But also, listen, everybody Latins have every uh, ethnicity has a blood sausage. Yeah, so this sausage. is why yeah, yeah, I, true, I yeah. laugh at the people that used to come and be like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Listen, every motherfucker has a blood sausage." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's I'll tell you this: it's nice, man. In the early days, so I would eat it, you know, Latin style. Growing up with it, you know, it was not like my main thing, but I would eat it in a soup. And then my first time going. To, to, to England, I'm like, okay, we need the English breakfast. They're like, yo, that's the thing. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh, man, you know, like I'm debating it or whatever. And then, all right, let me get a little bit. And I'm like, wait a minute. This ain't oh, Hold on. Yeah. Let me try a little more. Wait a minute. They put an egg on it. Oh, yeah, forget, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. forget it. Bring it on. I don't yeah, give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll pour that shit on me, the blood. <laughs> and you can bake me in I, it. Have you, have, you tried, have you had a bad sausage? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, bad sausage, bad sausage and chips is my favorite. Food yeah, yeah, I love them. Yeah, yeah, those are That's great. Yeah, yeah, I love all that shit. And but I, I backed that, and I was like, um, oh, I go nuts. And you know what I love? And it says it, only in the UK I get it. The scotch eggs. Yeah, yeah, scotch oh, eggs, yeah. man. Yeah, I love oh, it. A lot of ketchup God. is really good. God, man. listen, I got a spe Mad Ball, especially the band. We have a a very uh, personal relationship, especially with London. You yeah. know, the UK, like, yeah. besides going there and, you know, the business and just the relationships, it's like home. It feels yeah. like home. Yeah. And we spent, I don't know how many of our Decembers there. That feels like, if I could, if I could be anywhere, I'd rather be in New York City or I want to be in London in December. I don't I mean, need to be in Like, when I go to New York, it gives me the same vibes as it does in London. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, it does seem very similar on a lot of levels. Like I go to New York and I and I feel instantly like yeah feel like I'm at home and it's a, it's a weird thing I don't get it I don't get it anywhere else. I know York. and like I said again when I go and and it's Christmas time and just that vibe you know they got Christmas lights but it's like all right yeah Christmas Christmas but that's how New York is it's like you everybody got their lights the little Santa Claus but all right keep it moving but yeah. you get it, that taste of it it's a little cold how it should be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the pubs are better when it's yeah, yeah, cold it, out yeah. i love that shit like a little cold i don't even i don't really drink no more you know i'm a smoker 
I like to be in a pub. Like I said, yeah, ain't yeah, nothing yeah. like it. Coming ain't. in from coming in from the cold and it's nice oh, and cozy. Oh my you love god! A sing song, you know oh, what I mean? And, and it's, uh, my dream is like I got other music I work on, some rock stuff and whatever. And my idea of my stage in my head is like an English pub, like yeah. oh, that yeah. vibe of the couch and the wood and just a yeah, bar yeah, yeah. and man, that I, there's nothing more oh, yeah, yeah. fucking comforting. I'm like, I'd be an alcoholic. That's why you motherfuckers <laughs> are fucking. <laughs> that's not me. That's not us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's why it's you two motherfuckers. <laughs> and, 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 and what's next right now? So you're going to go see Sheer Terror tonight? Yeah. See Sheer Terror tonight. And then we've got Rebellion Festival in Blackpool next month. Yeah, that's but, cool. Uh, but for the band generally, we're just waiting for the new album to come out, really, because uh, we've, we've just we scrapped the artwork, and so we're, we're kind of getting it redone at the moment. Yeah, trying to sort some artwork out. Yeah, yeah, so that there'll be there'll be some news coming on that. But it's uh, you have official see, official release date. It's probably going to be early next year. It'll okay. probably be around about the time. So yeah, yeah. There's a there's the a year. special little tour happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so uh, around the world. <clears throat> But yeah, you're gonna have a, a couple of combinations of some killers out there doing yeah, their yeah, thing yeah. throughout Europe. But no, uh, listen, I'm really glad we made this happen, man. And I'm yeah, definitely gonna watch you guys. Us, us. Listen, I'm gonna get you guys back on because I want to do one of these when we're gonna go a real deep dive in some oil shit because oh, I want to let my fuckers awesome. know. We'll do an oil special. You know, exactly. I really want to do one. And I got some dudes. We're gonna get Lars. I'll get you guys and we get some real oil oh, motherfuckers yeah. and we let right. people know what time yeah. it is. Let everybody know where could they get the any chisel merchandise, the Instagrams, the chubby, and all that shit. Let them know. Well, so you, you, so chisel Instagram is the chisel UK chisel merch. Uh, we don't have a fucking start at the moment, but you can get it on the pure noise website, especially in America. Get that merch, come on! Don't sleep yeah, yeah, on yeah, the I know, merch. I know. We're, we're slacking, we're slacking, man. Right, come right, on. Yeah. But, uh, do you want to say for chubby? I don't know where you can get chubby stuff. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> that, listen, we might have to talk off camera. I might have to open up the chubby and the chisel store out here. Come yeah, on, yeah, guys, yeah. let's go. Right, <laughs> no, but listen, definitely everybody, yo, on the real. Mag, yo, I fuck with you guys. I love the bands. I love both the bands. And and stand up guys, straight up, you guys kept in contact, and I like that because I really wanted to get you guys on. And a lot of my boys fuck with you. And again, I'll be seeing you guys real soon. Everybody, go check out the chisel. Chubby and the gang, you already know. The UK in the motherfucking house. Smoking Word Podcast. I'll let you know what's up, fellas. All right, I'll hit you when this drops, all right? Thank you, brother. Thank you so Yo, much, we out of here. Tell shit, Terra, what's up? Well, then, all the best, brother. See you later, man. Thanks. We out of here.